through the floodgates, but today is probably his day off. Yeah, we're not quite seeing uh, all of the Olimar options right now, but we're going to go ahead and uh, start off here on Smashville. I mean, uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. <laughs> yeah. Basically the same thing in this game now. Uh, it's, uh, you want to start here? Yeah. Yeah, we did see Rich Brown take out HB2, of course, in the Olimar Ditto, if you guys saw that earlier. Taking a look at his bracket, though, Rich Brown did 2-0 Jump Steady, uh, of course, from Jump Steady from the 818 area. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, let's see what kind of... Oh, I love that deck. Uh, gets the tech chase with that down tilt. Try to get a little bit more damage to the platform, just kind of mess them up there. Mm -hmm. Right now, Rich Brown barely been touched, and Elegant sitting in a kind of a nasty percent, 63. That's kind of when Olimar starts to get a lot of nasty stuff with his purple Pikmin. Potentially get some early kills, too. We're seeing pretty much the zoners against the close... Up close and personal characters, and the Luigi brothers are out here. Yeah, it's, it's funny because a lot of the strong characters are like the like polar opposites of each other. We got like zoners on one hand, and we got uh, strong burst options on the other. Oh, oh, tries to run off there. Almost tried to get the spike. Tried to get it again. All right, I like how Rich is kind of taking his time to come back on the stage. Look at the way he's moving all the more around. Just trying to avoid any potential edge guard from Elegant. Yeah, nearly escaping the cyclone. Mm -hmm. I like how he, what he. Oh no, oh, that's no. unfortunate. But yeah, I liked what Rich Brown did earlier. He threw the purple pigment. Is a hitbox in case Elegant was hanging on the ledge, mm -hmm. and he's able to go higher too, so he's able to avoid those dares. Yeah, didn't quite work out there. He tried to get a landing there, and then he wanted to go to the other side. Just didn't quite land to the ledge in time. Up throw. No. I like it. Back throw. He doesn't want the kill. The kill problem might have been there, so he goes for the edge guard phase instead. Great play from Rich Brown though, and then I like how he sets up that empty half back air. Potentially read Elegant back on the stage there, and he dodges the other grab, but Elegant finally finds it. Could this be the big opener Elegant's looking for? And he doesn't find it, but it's good percent either way. Yeah, ooh, that was interesting. Uh, I think he was dash attacking a Pikmin, and he was able to get a forward smash afterwards. Yeah, yeah he still got the damage, but uh, well, you gotta remember on the lighter characters, if the knockback is too high, they will start getting into mm -hmm. grounded tech situations instead of getting stuck on the ground, so you can't get the up afterwards. Ooh, the Tornado Clanks right there with the Purple Pikmin. Keeping up the zoning, but still, uh, looking at a pretty comfortable lead. Just got to be careful about his range. If he puts himself in the wrong spot with a long, lasting hitbox like Nair, he could potentially get intercepted. All right, Elgin looking for the edge guard. Here comes back on the stage, and I like the forward smash there. Finally tying, not really tying it up, but getting a stock here. It's still in a deficit for Rich Brown. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, Rich Brown didn't do like a landing. Oh no, this could potentially be it if he gets something going. Oh. Yeah, try to find an alternative after that next dare, but didn't quite find it. A lot of damage for Rich Brown here on that landing. Of course, there's still a lot of end lag on that uh, up B if it whiffs. Or actually, if it, if it gets blocked too. What am I saying? Okay, Rich, able to come back on the stage though, and escaping <laughs> death from that up B. <laughs> what a jab! I was gonna say, man, if you went for the misfire, that would have been ridiculous. Yeah. You saw that panic uh, pluck from from uh, Rich Brown, he was like, oh shoot, I don't have any pick, and then he, <laughs> and he, he got sent off stage again, and like, we're going to rinse and repeat. Okay, nice, stalling himself out the deepest parts of the stage too as well. Scary situation there. Oh no, and that backer elegant not going to let him stay safe for long. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Um, I th it was, we saw the red circle, so that was untackable. Yeah. Uh, we don't, I, I don't know if, uh, if he held downward, then he would have been able to survive, because he, it looked like he was holding up to try and hug the stage, yeah. and holding up increases your knockback, exactly. obviously, from, due to LSI. So I don't know if holding down would have affected it there, because he's kind of a light character, so it yeah. might have been a... Chances are he was holding up, for sure, because he knows he had to try to like come back to the pineapple bottom yeah. of the stage, right? Mm -hmm. so. he, he definitely increases knockback. That, yeah. That, that, that much we can almost guarantee, so hopefully... Um, well, we'll see. Maybe it was a it was a checkmate either way, even if he held down. Yeah. Because he was at a pretty high percent anyways. But we got the character counter pick right now. <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> using the much stranger looking character. Yeah, Alf, of course, from Pikmin 3. That's the character. Uh, main, main protagonist of Pikmin 3, honestly. All of them are still in that game. But why doesn't... Huh? Alf, why doesn't Alf use Rock Pikmin? That was a missed opportunity there. That, that, that was. That was a missed opportunity for an Echo Fighter. Yeah. It really was. Yeah. I'm... Rock Pikmin could have been the replacement of Purple Pikmin. Yeah. Well, well. Uh, oh, they could have been super strong, and yeah. then like, and then like he could have been like slow or something. Like it, it, the way Echo Fighters go, that is definitely what could have happened. Interesting, using the down smash that time around. Just wanted to keep up his control. Oh. He is still, yeah, set him at a bad angle. So yeah, he, he I don't did. think he had his jump or something. I'm so. surprised he didn't actually go for side B at that point. I wonder if that would have actually worked in that situation there. Probably yeah. Elegant's known to go for side B even when he's at the depths with two down smashes. Man, he really wants Rich Brown out of the stage. Yeah. And moves proceeds to the edge guard phase, but I like that Rich gives him the slip there. It goes to the other side for safe passage. 
Yeah, good control from Rich Round. I like that. He tried to down tilt and then shield to catch like a landing nair or something, but didn't quite get the execution down. And he's gonna re grab that ledge. That's gonna be a free down smash for Elegant. Olimar's uh, ledge hang's not that great. His head mm. kind of sticks up a bit, uh, <laughs> so it's gonna allow hitboxes like down smash to be able to hit really easily. Oh, nice. Rich able to get away from that grab. Elegant just so charged right in for it. Alright, dash attack comes in. Able to get a jab. He's got a little bit of control, but I like that. Just being able to outrange with those Pikmin. Mm -hmm. That's you know, what he wants. He Rich wants the range, control. the distance between them to be able to do that. Get that forward smash at the end lag of the Cyclone. Edge guard opportunity here for Rich. Not able to find it there. Yeah. I like how, uh, because the the Cyclone properties aren't quite the same in this game, mm -hmm. it encour it's encouraging people to try and go for edge guards against Luigi a little bit more. And right there, gonna get that fair, intercept that side B, take out the next stock. Couldn't have said it better myself, Sarge. Couldn't have said it better myself. All right, put, pluck some Pikmin. You got white and purple back on the mix, and you're gonna get a lot of damage going with that white Pikmin. Oh, barely escaping that LB, oh, man. I like just went out for there. Yeah. Hoping to catch Rich off guard. It's like one of those things where it's like you can tell your opponents kind of try to fish for the kill before things get too hairy. Like yeah. Especially against a character like Olimar. Being on a deficit against this character is not good at all. And Ooh. right there, that's going to be able to even things up. And like I said, uh, this is Luigi we're talking about. Yeah. At zero, you could potentially get a lot of things. So You could potentially careful. just steal it away from your opponent. All the momentum, everything gone. And we can definitely see that Rich Brown is respecting that. He's up at the middle platform there. I like that he's tossing these down airs, just trying to say, Elegant, if you're going to poke through, prepare to be here. And that's what he's able to get there. Puts him at the edge guard for the phase here. Yeah. See what Rich Brown can get. Misses the grab here, and Elegant uses two rolls to get back to center stage. Yeah, you can tell Elegant's trying to figure out the tempo that Rich Brown's doing. Oh! Okay, yeah. Wow, okay. Read, the, read the roll into a forward smash. Right spacing there. Looked like Elegant was trying to go right around him. Yeah. But he just ended up in front of him. Great like, spacing from Rich, especially understanding the range that Alamar works at. That's Elf. What are you talking about? Elf. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, it's, moving, it's, on, moving on to game three, it looks like. I wish this was an Echo Fighter. Same. Uh, I, honestly, when Smash got announced, I didn't see Alf, and I was like, where's Alf? <laughs> you know, I, by the way, for those of you guys wondering, Sedge, commentator of RMC, will be at Heart of Battle, by the way, real quick. The character that I was in shambles about was no RMC representation. I think it uh, got the Xenoblade problem, where it was a little bit too close to development, so yeah. it didn't quite work. Anyways, um, here we go. go. We're moving back to Pokemon Stadium. Now we got the pink Alf, so we got Rich uh, just moving all over the place, getting that color palette <laughs> in, depending on what mood he's in. Sometimes it's personal preference, man. Sometimes you like one color more than the other, and sometimes Color John doesn't want to be part of your thing. So yeah. we'll see what Rich can do here at the distance. Like we've been saying earlier, you know, the distance game for Rich is kind of what he wants to be. He has a percent lead on Elegant. Yeah, I try to get that parry and into it a punish, but that didn't quite work. Elegant still got a little bit of a chance here. He's still got that um, control at the ledge, so he can try to even things up, try to take the stock. But purple Pikmin hitboxes, those are pretty frustrating to deal with. They don't latch onto you, of course. Mm. So that just means free projectiles and uh, potentially free damage, depending on how good your shield and parries are. Okay. Rich Brown coming back onto the stage here. Taking his time. Elegant gets the dash attack, but it's not going to kill you. I like how he reads the jump option there with the up smash. Elegant not so far behind after all. Yeah, I like that using the purple Pikmin's to be able to recover back to the stage. It's the hardest to edge guard him when he's got those purple Pikmin because you got hitboxes controlling the lateral movement where Olimar wants to try and be in. Death? Yep, that is death. Yeah, on whiff and on block, it's pretty punishable. So it's, it's not like uh, <laughs> it's not like Smash Four where you can uh, kind of get away with it sometimes. <laughs> Definitely a bit, bit of a change that was much wanted. Oh, I love that little fade back from Rich. Did not want to drift into the stage and get intercepted by Elegant. So he Ooh. went back outwards and it was able to make it back to the stage. Very smart defensive yeah. play from Rich to make it back to the stage. And Elegant's not quite figuring it out yet. Yeah, Hopefully he can get it soon before the lead gets too far. Yeah, and the lead looking to definitely get a little far here. Rich understands what Elegant's looking for. Charges it with that grab. Rich is giving him the space and he's able to get away from the grab. Able to get away from that forward smash. Able to get away from the dash attack. Rich so, much, so far has Elegant on the ropes here with the range that he's moving. But Elegant finally gets that forward. Even Evening up the stocks, but the percent are not the same. Yeah, just wax him off stage. He's able to finally get the stock there. I mean, Olimar's light, so you mm. gotta be, you gotta get the stock eventually, right? <laughs> as long as you get a nice hit off stage, and you should be able to keep up control. Yeah. Intercepts in with another dash attack. Potentially big option here for Elegant. 
Gets that back air. Keeping up the control still, but finally a trade. Rich Brown's gonna be able to make it back. Yeah, Rich Brown playing the control game, playing the slow game here. He doesn't have to do much, and I like the fact that he gets the space in, but Elliot gets a grab. This could be the equalizer in percent, but smacks him away at that purple Pikmin. Down throw. Into the depth. Oh, no, no, no. Into up beat, down beat. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say into death, but I was like, oh no. <laughs> Hopefully not. Oh no, Ooh. tech. But yeah. He threw the. Yeah. Okay, Rich still alive here at the skin of his teeth. Looking oh. to recover there, but Elegant never going to give him the chance. Mm -hmm. I like what Elegant did there. He didn't respect the Purple Pikmin. This time he used the fair to clink the hitbox, and then he was able to continue his edge guard. If he respected the Purple oh, this Pikmin, that's might be death. it. Yep, that is over, and Rich could do nothing about it. You can even tell he was actually holding his, his DI there. I was going to say, Rich, where are you going, man? You still have another game. This is one of semis. Best of five. Best of five, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rich was like, okay, it's over. And I was like, hold on, Rich. This is best of five, man. Yeah, yeah, You're not done yet. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, yeah. Uh, great punish game from Elegant, obviously getting that combo, getting those combos that he needed. But um, also from Elegant, reading those defensive options that Rich Brown wanted to do, and then intercepting them, adapting, and able to find an answer for like stuff like the purple Pikmin getting tossed towards him. So really good stuff from Elegant, showing uh, some changes in his gameplay. Yeah. We're moving back to Smashville. Uh, I, I have a feeling it's just gonna be these two stages for these two: a wide stage and a small stage. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I mean, the small stage to close the gap between himself and Olimar, and the wide stage to give Rich a little bit more space. There, not able to get any kind of follow-up afterwards, so close quarter combat, but I'll smash out a shield really nice to catch people that are really inside your hitbox. Okay, goes for the forward smash, but immediately walks away. He senses the grab from Elegant, but Elegant goes in for a back air. Rich using that forward to get Elegant off him. Oh, he's able to make it back, actually, and he's able to intercept him with a dare, but of course that dash attack, I mean, the, the way it, I mean, it's supposed to be a bad move, but the way, oh, wow, okay, gets that dare, very nice stuff, just waited for um, Rich Brown to try and do his height mix-ups, and then just catch him at the very end of that. Yeah, uh, Elegant, upbeat. definitely playing the learning and adapt situation, he's had a few games already with Rich Brown, so he kind of understands what he goes for when he tries to survive. Oh, nice empty hop there, trying to mix it up with his grabs there, but he's still not able to find it. Rich Brown trying to throw out these support smashes. I don't know if it's just like six sensitivity pushing him the wrong way, but he's not quite getting the reads that he wants. Uh, Elegant doing a good job on survivability yep. until the down B once more. I think Rich Brown's gotten like at least 33% of his stocks yeah. off of punishing down B on whiff. Those are, those are sedge stats right there for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> those are sedge stats. Completely made up, 100% <laughs> factual. <laughs> Oh, tried to intercept the side B. Still got another opportunity. Oh, no. I felt like... I don't even know what happened there. I feel like he might have misinput something. Uh, either that or he lost his jump somewhere on the way down. Yeah. And then he couldn't act out of that side B. That's the only thing I can think of. Ooh, okay. Gonna go back to the ledge. Throwing out some dares. Tries to intercept them. I like that. Waiting from Rich Brown. Just staying right outside of the range of that getup attack. And then waiting to find his way back in, try to get another down tilt. He's getting a lot of damage Oof. out of it, and he's at 100%. Not the worst thing in the world for Olimar. He can still survive a certain couple of hits from Luigi. Nice. At Saw that second forward hair hit just for a second there, just to buy some time around Elegant Shield. Trying to get it there and safely lands back on stage with the wall get up. Yeah. Oh, uh, Rich Brown's definitely been getting away with these uh, fares off stage to make it back on. Mm -hmm. Elegant getting a little bit aggressive, trying to intercept with some edge guards, but I think he's kind of forgetting what Rich Brown's been doing off stage and uh, just getting stuck uh, trying to push his aggression. Okay, Rich kind of using this racing game yet again. He knows he has Elegant at the ledge, but he gets the grab finally. He even stocks 0% on Rich Brown. This is not where he wants to be, man. Elegant can just definitely take a lot of things away. Especially Rich's opportunity to make a comeback. There. Not going to be able to get anything else, though. Thought he may have wanted to try and get a mix-up afterwards, but I think he was uh, already set on his tempo of the down air. Yeah. So he didn't think that he would get a follow-up after. I mean, you could tell, dude. Rich wants that paycheck to come in clutch for the payday and possibly go to game five. Nice. Off-stage opportunity for Rich Brown. Tries to get something. Drifts back to the stage. Doesn't grab the ledge, though. And he's able to make it back just fine. You can see the respect from Rich too, especially staying on the middle platform, he's going for the down airs because he knows Elegant's going to try to poke through with an arrow and he finally gets that forward air with the purple Pikmin. Rich Brown coming in clutch with the payday paycheck. Yeah. Takes it to the bank, gets game five. Alright, we're moving on to game five. Uh, maybe Rich Brown should ban the run back, I don't know. I mean, Elegant's <laughs> Elegant been doing pretty well on that stage. So, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, he, okay. I, I, I think he did, so we're going to Battlefield this time. 
All right, Rich Brown takes a sip of water here, just trying to go ahead and also probably give himself some mental notes of what he was doing right. That's also what you always want to look at, as I mentioned earlier. Don't always look at your losses. You can also look at your victories to see what you were doing right that time. Let's we'll see what Battlefield will do for both of these players here. As it is Game 5, Rich Brown finally bringing it back here. And now the spacing game on some great parries, but Elegant uses that time to come back in. He whacked something, but uh, he didn't quite get anything out of it. But going to get some up tilt combos. Great stuff from Elegant using these platforms to extend his combos. 89%. Who needs that zero to death? You, st you can still get a lot of damage <laughs> off of these platforms. Uh, options as well. Rich Brown's opportunity to try and bring something back. He's got the advantage and he's got the Pikmin. Two of them lashed onto Elegant. Only 46% though and he's going to be sent back off stage one more time. Okay. You can tell. Oh, I like that he's going for the, the Zares off the stage there because the plunger will hit you on the way back down. It actually counts as a hitbox as well. Oh, I like that idea. Using the hip or the Pikmin to intercept the side beam. Maybe Elegant wouldn't be able to make, make mm -hmm. it back. But uh, not quite there. He still had his jump so he's going to be fine. That forward, oh, and now we'll be able to do it. I want to say Elegant didn't have the right DI at that point. Yeah, it looked like he kind of just slowly <laughs> went to the, to the edge of the blast up there. That was really weird. Looking like Smash 4 DI at yeah. that point. <laughs> Picking up the Pikmin. Try to get a follow up after that uh, down tilt, but not able to get Here's anything so far. Here he is off stage. I like it. Goes for the up air from the bottom of the stage and uses the purple Pikmin to buy himself a little bit of time here. Yeah, that time he didn't wait at the uh, wait at the stage at all. Just immediately buffered a roll, tried to get around there because he knew Elegant was looking for that uh, down smash after that regrab. What's the chase on the platform? Oh, he, very smart. Using a quick option like neutral getup uh, to be able to avoid platform pressure. Ooh, but that down sm smash. He just survives that block string, but a back throw is going to be able to do it for Elegant. Bringing the stocks back to even. If he can get a big combo, he can still bring this back around. Still tossing out that Pikmin. Olimar is just uh, using his win condition, you know, throw out those Pikmin, keep up that lead, frustrate your opponent, get something going with like a forward smash or something like that right there. <laughs> Rich able to poke through with that forward and now moving Elegant towards the right side of the stage. He's got some healthy percent on him. Well, Rich has healthy percent, Elegant definitely not on the healthiest percent and Rich will take that out. Yeah, great forward smash. Of course, the neutral getup only has one frame of vulnerability, but if you have the, the Pikmin kind of stayed there for a little while, so it's able to catch uh, some people sometimes with that uh, neutral getup. Yeah. Oof. This round doing an amazing job keeping up that control. Didn't have a didn't have a Pikmin to throw. This is oh, a really big, big shot for Elegant. And he gets it too. That's the momentum that Elegant's looking for and the shot to take it as well. Yeah. I think he did like a double dare instead of like a nair to dare that mm -hmm. time around. I think that was really smart that he's able to keep him just close enough to the ground after the spike uh, to be able to get the stock. Now Rich Brown's at 20%, so he's starting to be outside of that range of that zero to death combo. So potentially we're going to see uh, Rich Brown be able to survive a little bit longer, but of course this is uh, Elegant we're talking about. Anything can happen really. Yeah. Anything can happen at a touch of notice from Elegant there, and Rich Brown just trying to respect that space here. He does have Elegant at high percent, so if you can get a possible read, can take up Elegant. Takes the time to get that four dash attack in there, and Rich Brown makes the safe recovery. That Pikmin taking one for the team. Yeah. Oof, that time around, gonna barely avoid the plunger. How does he get back to center stage? That's gonna be the most important part. All right, El uh, Rich Brown gives him that space, just throws off that Pikmin. One more time, gonna try and get something at the ledge here. Gonna be able to intercept him. No jump potentially. Ooh. Oh, the hitbox intercept him. Oh, and he gets it afterwards. Damn, that is gonna take an elegant with a pop. -up.